I just emerged from the theater from seeing Oppenheimer, and I wanted to share with you all my thoughts fresh from the experience. Um, I, uh, I thought it was a great movie. Um, that's the, sh that's my short review. Um, I'll, uh, as for <laughs> what, what more I can say about it, again, this is just my, I'm just sort of collecting my thoughts at this point, but I just thought it'd be interesting to maybe, uh, you know, not, not, not have a polished review, but since it's a very, it's very, uh, you know, a very, uh, powerful and, and, uh, sensorily, you know, uh, impactful kind of experience, uh, I thought it might be interesting just to have a, you know, a more Im just impressionistic, uh, take on it all, uh, because it, it is a, it, it, it does, it, it does have a visceral effect on, 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 uh, on the viewer. Uh, now that said, it's a very, you know, uh, talky, complicated, long, it's, it's three hours, uh, and, uh, and very intellectual movie. So it's not, when, when, when I talk about it being viscerally impactful, it's it's not what you would typically think of you know in, in, as that sort of thing. Usually, the, the the viscerally impactful movie is the one is the, is the one that just is sort of immediate and in your face and and uh, <clears throat> there's not a lot of uh, like uh, oh you know who 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 are these factions who are these characters oh there's so many people to keep track of here. Um, which is which this movie is it's 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 very uh complicated and and I would say even convoluted I don't mean that I don't mean convoluted in a bad way I mean it's I I was entertained from start to finish um but it's it's uh you know it, it, it's like all Christopher Nolan movies it's uh you know it's it's a think piece and you don't see how all the puzzle pieces fit together, um, you know, until it's over. And even when it's over, there's still some things left to the imagination, which is good, you know. If Oliver Stone had made this movie, it would be far less morally ambiguous, uh, you know. And I could, and I say if Oliver Stone made this movie because I could see Oliver Stone making a movie like this. Um, but it would it would be a it would be a far less interesting movie. It would uh, there would be simple heroes, simple villains. You know, here there uh, there's a lot of. Uh, um, I mean, I think it's a I, I think it's a movie that's very concerned with morality, uh, and I think it's it does have a moral sense to it, very much has a moral sense to it, but the characters in it are not all good or all bad. There's no, there, there really is no character in this, in this movie who's all good or all bad. And that's part of what I, what I think is, is, uh, what makes it great. Um, uh, you know, even during the, the, the showdown, uh, which I'm not even going to attempt to get into, right, you know, here, uh, I'm not, I'm not even going to try to explain everything that, that's, that, 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 uh, that goes down and, and, you know, who, uh, uh, you know, who, who, uh, is on Oppenheimer's side and who is against Oppenheimer and, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and the who and the why and the how and all of that. I, I want, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to go into that right now, um, because this is just an impressionistic thing, but as, as I was saying, but I really do admire the movie for not making you, uh, you know, uh, for, for basically refraining from being, um, emotionally manipulative. Now there are a lot of emotional moments. There are, uh, 
you know, moments that are incredibly emotionally impactful. But even those moments, they leave it to your imagination. Um, you know, there's, there's a, a um, I don't know how much detail I should get into or, or that I want to get into. But the moment where they first explode the bomb, I'm not giving anything away by saying uh, that, because we know history, we know uh, that the, uh, the Los Alamos uh, uh, team was successful at creating an atom bomb. And so the moment where they, they put it to the test uh, and you see the explosion and it's all silence and you feel the emotion of of the moment you feel the simultaneous elation and joy that these people are feeling that that they've you know this project that they've been working on which seems you know this this incredibly important project uh in this war effort to to, to defeat uh a uh an aggressive and dangerous regime uh, uh, that 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 uh, that it's that it's uh, you know, they're successful at it um, and by dangerous dangerous regime I'm, I'm talking about Japan here because <laughs> by the time they explode the bomb uh, Germany's out of the war Germany's already lost Germany has surrendered uh, so <laughs> I, I know that I know that some of you uh, were uh, were frowning uh, and uh, and making uh, hissing noises at me when I said dangerous regime, <clears throat> but I'm not talking about Nazi Germany here. I'm talking about Imperial Japan. Um, anyway, but I but but they so they 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 they've had this successful moment, uh, and. Uh, and, and you feel the relation, but then you, you also see what this means, the significance of, of, of this, and the consequences, what the consequences will be, you know, which is huge loss of civilian life, essentially mass murder, but, you know, from the, in the minds of some people, mass murder, uh, you know, the, the, the killing of, uh, thousands, tens of thousands of civilians is justified because the ends justify the means. I don't share that that uh, take at all in any way whatsoever. But, but uh, you know, it, you, you see the, in any case, you see the morally ambiguous response that they have to it. And you, with, with a character like Oppenheimer himself, played very well by Cillian Murphy, um, you see, I mean, one of many good performances, I should say. This this movie is star-studded. You know, there's there's like like a ton a ton of people show up, mostly guys, mostly male male actors. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, with with makeup, you know, because they're they're uh, like uh, they're playing older than the, I guess they are, or, or sometimes they're. We're seeing them through many phases of their life, like with with Oppenheimer himself. We first meet, or there we don't first. Meet, it sort of goes all around. It jumps around a lot, um, so it, it's not it's uh, it's not what, what do you call it? It's not a linear narrative. <laughs> I was trying to think of the the fancy uh, you know academic uh, term to use. It's uh, it's not. Uh, you know, uh, it doesn't go directly from past, uh, to present to future. It, it jumps around from different times. Uh, but any, anyway, you see a, a lot of people, a lot of people show up, uh, most, mostly guys, although gotta say Emily Blunt makes quite an impression. And also Florence Pugh, uh, uh, makes, <laughs> It's even more of an impression if you want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, seeing breasts. But anyway, um, but the, both of those actresses also, uh, you know, are 
<clears throat> uh, contribute significantly. But this is mostly a man's world. Uh, and I should also say this is a, this is not a woke movie at all. <clears throat> there's no, um, um, you, you know, there, there's no token, char- a historical token characters thrown in. I, Christopher Nolan doesn't play that shit. You know, he, he's just not into that uh, at all. I'm not saying he's he's like a, a a conservative or a right winger or anything like that. I just don't don't think he. I think he wants to be historically accurate. Um, <clears throat> so. So, um, so I think that the, the fact that even when there are all there, there is these different showdowns taking place, uh, which are all verbal jousting going on. These are like hearings that are, that are being held. Uh, one of which involves Oppenheimer directly, one of which involves a colleague of Oppenheimer, um, who, uh, who may, uh, who has a complicated relationship to him. And I don't want to give it, give it away, uh, but, uh, or give away what it is or what, what ultimately, uh, that relationship, uh, consists of. Um, <clears throat> but in both cases, we, we see, even though, you know, I think, uh, we, we, uh, tend to sympathize, uh, with, in certain ways and to not with certain characters and not to sympathize with other characters, other times that gets flipped on its head. And, you know, you see this, uh, for, for example, the, the character, the, the, the the actor who plays O'Brien on (laughs) Star Trek, the next generation, uh, shows up in a pivotal, uh, powerful, uh, pivotal role here as a sort of inquisitor, uh, and and most of the time he's really not very likable. He's arrogant. He's he's cocky. He's, you know, he's just uh, uh, you know smirking and and uh, you know it's like it's sort of the the deck is stacked against him. But then at a very uh, uh, you know which which I tend to hate. I tend to not like it when it's like ooh you we're making you hate this character. We're gonna just load all these. Uh, unlikable things on this character and make you hate him uh, because this is the emotional manipulation that that they do that I, I just don't don't like uh, don't approve of um, <clears throat> but but at, at moments especially at a particularly important moment you start to see he's he's turning the tables on Oppenheimer where we're seeing before that we were seeing Oppenheimer as the good guy as, as somebody who's being unfairly uh, put upon. And then suddenly there's a moment where it, tor- it turns and it's like, yeah, you know, uh, O'Brien, nasty O'Brien uh, is, I, I can't remember the character's name in the movie. He's, he's actually making a good point here. And, and Oppenheimer's, you know, struggling with his answer because he knows he's being pinned down, uh, on this question. Um, uh, and the entire, uh, you know, the, the whole notion of whether, uh, Oppenheimer w- behaved, um, in a responsible way, you know, with vis-a-vis, uh, trusting people who might not be loyal, uh, to the project and, and who might have actual Soviet ties, um, is, uh, it's, it's, it's like, it, it's a very ambiguous matter. <clears throat> because, you know, you can be loyal, but still imprudent. And anyway, that, that all becomes, and I don't want to, I don't want to get too deep into that right now. And I don't want to give, this is not a spoiler, uh, kind of review. Uh, and, and the plot is, is way too complex. It, you know, I, it would get, it would just get really dull if I were to try to sit here and explain everything, uh, and, and, and everybody, and I, I don't think I'd be able to, uh, trust me, this is a very, very, um, involved, intricate con, as I said, convoluted, but not, not in a way that that's, that that's, uh, annoying or confused, but like Tenet was convoluted in a, in a bad way, in my mind. Um, it, it, it I don't, I, I think it was significantly flawed, Christopher Nolan's last film. Um, I, I, you know, I have mixed feelings about it generally, but, that film, I would say, was convoluted in a way that was not 
that was not always compelling. This is convoluted in a way that is, is always compelling. Um, so, uh, it, uh, it's, it's powerful. And I think the, 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 the final twist, the, the final twist of the knife, as it were, involves a, a moment where, uh, there is an exchange between two characters, namely Oppenheimer and Einstein. And I don't, I have no idea whether this is historically, uh, accurate or not, uh, whether this actually happened in history or if they just took liberties with it, <clears throat> but it doesn't really matter to me. I don't, I'm not looking at this film as a piece of history. You know, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a biopic, but, but, uh, you know, I'm seeing it more as an interpretation <clears throat> as an artistic rendering or, or, or a cinematic rendering of this, this character and these, these, this character and his, uh, the, the, the cast of people that, that surrounded him and, and this, this moment in history and what it represents. Um, so there's a moment where we, 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 we don't see the exchange between the two of them. And it leads to a significant misunderstanding involving another character who walks up and who, uh, uh, when Einstein is walking past him, he, he sort of looks, looks away as if he's disapproving of him. Uh, but what we find out later is that it didn't have anything to do with him. The, the, their exchange actually had something to, to do with, uh, a, 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 an issue that is, uh, well beyond, you know, this, this character and his ego, um, or anybody and their ego, you know, and it's like, did we really, <laughs> did we really win? Uh, did the good guys really win at all? Uh, you know, um, was this entire, uh, this entire idea of, you know, going into this line of research, uh, in which, uh, uh, nuclear weapons were, uh, were first created, um, was, you know, uh, now, now we kind of think, Ooh, we dodged a bullet but maybe we didn't dodge a bullet. Maybe the bullet had just, you know, it just hasn't, uh, hasn't quite left the barrel of the gun yet and, and hit us in the forehead yet, but it's on its way. Um, and that's the, the powerful impact of the very, you know, when it's fight, when it finally gets revealed, what those two characters were saying to each other, uh, you know, and, uh, it, that, that's, that it ends on that note. It's like, it's kind of like, wow. I mean, I think, this, I'm thinking back now, this might be my favorite Christopher Nolan movie, maybe since The Prestige. Um, it reminds me a lot of The Prestige, uh, because that was also a very con com complicated, convoluted film where you don't really know the truth about this, that, or the other thing. It's like a puzzle that, that, that only you only see all the pieces fit together, that it only comes together at the very end. And it's like that movie in that it's also you know, a very, very much a think piece, uh, but, but also packs an emotional wallop. Anyway, I would say, see it and judge for yourself. Uh, but those are my thoughts. Those are my impressionistic thoughts on, on Oppie baby. Thanks for watching.